Hi, and welcome to another video from the Enphase Learning and Development Team. This video will help you troubleshoot the IQ battery when there is voltage that is out of acceptable range or no voltage at one or more of the IQ batteries. When starting your troubleshooting, you'll start by confirming that the IQ battery breaker inside of the IQ system controller is on, as well as any battery AC disconnects. Using a multimeter, Test the IQ battery's AC voltage at the Line 1 and Line 2 storage breaker terminals inside of the IQ system controller. You're looking for voltage that falls into the 211 volts to 264 volts range. Once you've confirmed that the storage breaker has voltages in the acceptable range, test the AC voltage at the input lugs at the bottom of the IQ system controller to verify that they're within the 211 to 264 volts range as well. If there is voltage at the storage breaker, but not at the storage input lugs at the bottom of the system controller, the storage relay is open. One of the causes of this may be that the production and consumption CTs are not enabled. Make sure that the CTs are enabled using the installer apps meter wizard. You'll also want to verify that the CT consumption type is set to load with solar. You can learn how to check the production and consumption meters in the troubleshooting guide linked in the video description below. If the production and consumption meters are enabled and set to load with solar but the relay remains open, contact customer support for additional troubleshooting. The next thing to test is the AC voltage at the external battery AC disconnect, if there is one present. Check the voltages upstream and downstream of the disconnect to determine if there's a bad fuse or issue with the disconnect. You're looking for voltage that falls into the 211 volts to 264 volts range. If the site has an IQ battery committer panel, test the AC voltage entering and exiting the unit. The measured voltage should be between 211 and 264 volts. In addition, test the voltage on each of the IQ battery circuits for that same range as well. If you have multiple IQ batteries, test AC voltage at the entrance and exit of each IQ battery to confirm that power is reaching all units. If the voltages aren't within the specified range, Verify that the IQ battery wiring and circuit terminations are installed properly, and then retest. If the IQ batteries are still not getting AC voltage in the acceptable range, contact in phase support for further troubleshooting or to start the RMA process. You've now learned how to troubleshoot the IQ battery when it's not getting AC voltage or voltage that is out of the acceptable range. Thank you for watching another video from the Enphase Learning and Development Team.